there is a reason. <laughs> well, he, he shot a little bit vague up there. We, 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 oh, so. well, that's uh, hey, that's how the process is at this point. We are uh, we are um, still having the uh, the dialogue uh, back and forth, and and uh, still um, still trying to work on you know, frankly, uh, some uh, some common themes as to the extent of. Uh, the kinds of revenues that would be necessary to make this work and the kinds of places that we could find reductions in spending. So we're still having those conversations. Are, are, are you still optimistic that you'll get it done by May 1st? Pardon me? Are you still optimistic that you'll be done by May 1st? Well, I'm, I'm still hoping for May 1st. I'm still plugging for May 1st. I'm still believing in May 1st, yeah. It so seems pretty unlikely, though. It seems pretty difficult with, and you unless know something is I, done by the end of, day, end of the day. I, I, think, I think there's no doubt about it that the... Uh, the timeline gets tighter and the timeline gets shorter. And again, the only reason that, uh, that I would tell you there's a little difference um, in, in just looking at this in, in all of the historical context is the, the, the care that these committees went through in developing their budgets. I know I've shared this with you before, but I mean, this was line by line. This is not as if um, uh, these are, and certainly on the Senate side, new chairs unfamiliar with the territory. They've done it. They just had a special session where all these committees work together in a very tight timeline. So it does get tight. It is getting short. Uh, it is getting late. But but there's still time to make this what, work. What's the harm with putting the brakes on and say, hey, we, we'll, we'll take a little more time with this? What's aside from perhaps public perception that you're not doing your job? Well, they're they're not necessarily. I don't know that I would even define it that way. Is what's what's the harm? I I think that uh, what is important is that you're trying to give. All these uh, certainly constituencies and agencies uh, that all over the state are, are planning for July 1, and they're working towards July 1. They're needing information to make their their plan model work beginning July 1. And so, it's just a matter of we're pressing on with it. We're here with it. This is um, a time we can get it done. So, why not press on? From your perspective, what specifically are the biggest issues outstanding with the house? I think that uh, the, the the biggest issue. You know, remains that the uh, and I, I give you this certainly my take on it is that that uh, the House has asked us to uh, take a harder look at reducing uh, uh, levels of spending, and um, and so that's what we're continuing to look at. Well, that's but that's what that's the ask. In, in terms of specific areas where the re reductions, uh, Sir Alexander mentioned today about the higher ed. Right. Uh, right. Is that. Is that still in, the, in, in going back and forth? I think if you uh, looked at the two original budgets as they were lined up, um, we had, uh, you know, for lack of a better word, had tried to protect the, really the present uh, place that the uh, that we have been in a budget from from this year to, to that year. Uh, the House felt that they could be a little more aggressive and looking for um, uh, dollars there to make the budget work. And uh, the same would be true of community colleges. And so uh, those would be would remain areas that that uh, they're asking us to take a hard look at. Mr. President, uh, have, you, have you been uh, asked about the offshore drilling question yet that the House raised rather late in the session? Not at all. Not at all. How do you, um, how do you look at that proposal? Well, Jim, frankly, because it hasn't been asked of us and we've had so much on our plate, I, I haven't yet had time with it. So um, there's not a similar at least I'm not aware of, no, uh, no member has come to me and said, hey, let me lay this out in front of you. And so I would at least say for the moment, um, other than seeing headlines that you all may be, you know, working on, and uh, that's, all I've, that's all I've seen. So, so I haven't, no, it hasn't been asked of me, it hasn't been said, this has to be part of the mix, uh, not at all. You personally, you're not flatly opposed or supportive? I'd have to read it. For, I, I, all, really, all I saw was headlines, and I'd really want to see what, what the proposal was. I about that. The House for a while the budget is taken the NPM, I'm not sure if that's what it's asking, the NPM tobacco fee basically affects the sale in a large measure. It doesn't look like the Senate's keen on that. I'm sure we get it done. The, um, uh, it, it may be a, late, a, a later ask for us. I, I hadn't seen it earlier uh, in the, in the, uh, the ideas that were shared in the original budget. Yeah, I, I just would, you know, would suggest something that, that is bringing someone into a settlement that they were not part of years ago. I think it's a pretty important question to consider. So, no, I wouldn't say that, that I'm hard and fast anyway. on it. It's just that it, it's, it's now being raised as, a, as, a, as an issue, and I'm not sure it, it raises to the level of one of those issues that is keeping us apart. But it's, it's, been, it's been tossed out. Well, have yeah. you talked off. to the appropriations chairs about, hey, get ready to stay here this weekend or not? Um, I, I haven't, but I would think that, uh, you know, 
You don't need to ask. Uh, no, I, I, <laughs> I'm respectful of you know their calendars and, and their workload, and, and frankly, they've been here for, for, for many weeks, so I'd be sensitive to that. But uh, they're real pros, and I think they're all they're all very well tuned in to to watching. You know how the process. We are we are not uh, we are not in conference, but they're eager to start, and so I, I think that uh, they had long ago assumed that this was you know, three or four days ago that this would probably be a, an important weekend to be here. So I think they're playing. Last question. Off the budget. Off the budget. Because held a week, uh, meeting this weekend. Senate Republican leaders and I think Senator Al Lawson was here talking about the budget. Do you think that that maybe defied the sense of the sunshine law? Can you explain why all these meetings are being held? Talks are going on, sort of flurry of talks going on yeah. privately behind closed doors right now, even though no conferences have even begun. Right. The, um I can speak for myself. I mean, I was here this weekend doing a lot of correspondence, going through a lot of folders and, and correspondence that's come to me in the last few weeks that I haven't had a chance to get to. Uh, and in that time, certainly Esther Alexander was in the building, uh, working on, I think, with uh, with our staff director on things. He'd stop in, we'd sit down. Uh, uh, I think Senator Herodopoulos was in the building. He stopped in, sat down. There was no uh, scheduled meeting to, uh, over the weekend to map out strategy. Al Lawson. Uh, uh, came and I heard this was raised earlier today. Um, frankly, the, the chief of staff was in working in his office. I walked in, sat down, said hello. Al did the same. I, I don't, I didn't see any meeting taking place that was saying, "Hey, hey, let's all go over where our positions are and where do we stand on the budget." So that wasn't taking place at all. But I, I think that you're raising it. I, I think I want you to know. I think that's a valuable point because if if I'm in here working on the weekend and we're in this at this point in the session, we're where we have finished our budget and we have communicated a desire to work together with our partner and members are together for the sake of continuing to work on ideas uh, and uh, and they're working with staff that it can create the perception and certainly did if this came out that Senator Lawson was in a meeting uh, I'd certainly invite him over now to talk about whatever we covered um, but it was mainly he did ask how are we coming what are you thinking um, and I did express that I'm sure that I've been asked to, to make some tougher decisions, and I'm, and I'm thinking through some of those things. But, but that's where it was. So, so I think your point is, is that I have to be uh, thoughtful and careful that if, if we're going to be here this weekend and, uh, and I'm going to be sitting in my office, uh, that all the doors need to be opened if I'm going to engage in some kind of a, you know, actual a conference meeting. Uh, I think that's a valuable point that you're making, but that's not what took place over the weekend. Do you think that, there's time, that it's time that some of these talks that are going on behind closed doors right now are privately between the House and the Senate become public? I do think it's a good point again, and I think that the moment that uh, conference begins, the moment that there is a, uh, that anything gets into discussion about um, uh, the, uh, any kind of line item, any kind of support for an initiative, any kind of uh, policy that that is going to be included or not included. That, that as soon as there are there are common themes that we can begin from, uh, conference begins, and that you are now specifically going to be talking about policies and bills uh, and numbers on line items. Absolutely, absolutely. Is that, that gap closed? Some, is that gap, particularly the numbers, is that closed at all? These kind of in your yeah, communication. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Huh? Yeah, it's close to some. Huh? Can huh? we get an so estimate on some? What's yeah, your, what's your huh? optimism? Sure. Right? Poor chairman here. You're the president, and uh, he says that uh, we can get it done, so I'm with him. All right, <laughs> thank you. About the he has to go to special order group.